What's going on, everybody? Um, we got another cool video for you guys. This one is going to be on the um, battery maintainer that I got. Um, if you guys watched the previous video, um, this is probably, I was probably talking about the Ego or the uh, Amazon packages, but this was one of the ones in the Amazon package. So, uh, this is the battery charger maintainer right here. This brand is, I'm not too sure what this brand is, but let me flip you guys around so I can show you this. Okay, so we've got a fresh engine right here. Um, just spray some degreaser. It's got some ashiness to it. Probably should have did a little bit better job on cleaning it off, but we'll be good. I'm gonna wipe this down a little bit more and uh, get it prepped up for the uh, shine. But uh, we're gonna be doing this, um, I believe it's a QX80. I'm not too sure. The three row uh, infinity tan interior. Oh my gosh, it's gonna kill my elbows. But uh, carpet is actually not that bad, I would say. Not too bad for me. We're gonna get this knocked out. But um, so I wanted to make this video using this charger because I'm gonna have these doors all open for about like two hours and maybe 30 minutes or so. So I can kind of let the uh, carpet dry. Um, so, oh, oh, real quick before I get to this. Just got this air mover too. So I'm not gonna do a video on it, but I just got this cool little air mover. Basically you just plug this in and um, I can leave it in the car with the ionizing machine and it can basically uh, dry the seats and carpet faster. So pretty long extension cord. You could buy multiple of these and hook them up in here or run multiple extensions. Like I said, I can uh, put the ozone machine right there and they could both go. Um, it could sit like this. It could also sit like this and like that. So <laughs> I got this cause it's kind of like a little three tier system. It's pretty cool. It's small, compact, and it's just gonna help me um, save kind of like time on customers cars. So I'll definitely be using that with this one cause I already uh, did the carpets and I got to do the inside carpets. But back to the battery maintainer guys. Didn't want to get off track there, but sorry. Wanted to show you guys that. So um, now on Amazon, this is like where, here's the brand name too. Um, on Amazon, I believe this one was man, like 40 or $60 or something like that. They do have the bigger ones that, you know, go up to a hundred something, but you really don't need all that. And then again, I really didn't need this because I do have my jump and carry right here. You can also use this as a charger, but right now I've got two vehicles in here. And so um, what if I need to work on both of them? I have two, but anyway, this one is super small, compact where you don't have to a lot of times this big thing over here, it's kind of hard to sit anywhere. Like if you work on engines a lot, if you have if you're a detailer, um, a lot of times there's not enough room for that big thing to sit or even to stand still. So you might have to end up laying it down somewhere and that's just kind of whack. But anyway, um, use this big car can definitely do that because I could just sit it like right here, literally. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna use this bad boy. Reason I got this was the price point and the uh, multi-function that it uses. So basically you can just hook this up and you can see it has a, um, a outlet, a wall outlet, your standard outlet extension. So I can hook that up or I can hook this actually to a um, charger if you will. So I can plug it in that way. Obviously, I'm going to be using the wall outlet, and then it comes with these right here. So, this is kind of your extensions. Obviously, you have the black and the red that you would clamp down on those. Obviously, find something that's good enough. Um, they open pretty big, I guess. Not enough to fit on there, but you can you can 
grab it like a little angle right there and then that fits. So that works. You may even have to split this apart just a little bit further because this will have to reach over here somehow. And then here's your connecting piece. Let me get this out of here. This is your connecting piece that you want to connect to the um, cord right here. So obviously you're going to connect that to this one. I'm trying to do this one hand to show you guys. So you connect those two together. You'll be good to go. And then just plug it into the wall right there. Hopefully you guys saw that. Um, if not, if that doesn't work, then obviously they give you this extra one to where you have the, um, I have no idea what these called, but I'm just gonna call them circle clips where you can unscrew these and then just put it on there and screw it back and tighten it. So then that will definitely work if these clamps aren't big enough and don't open enough for you. So I'm gonna get this hooked up. Oh, and real quick, this, um, this is cool because it's just one button. You don't have to play around with it or nothing like that. It's just one button, you press that button and boom, it should start charging. Or matter of fact, I don't think this, yeah, that's a button right there. So you just press that little green button and you're good to go. It starts maintaining and keeping the battery alive. Instead of having all the doors open and the car dies on the customer. Another cool thing about this one is on the back side it has a hook. So um, a lot of the other more expensive ones and stuff like that has this hook on here. So you have this hook and you can just throw it right here. That way it could just hang. You don't even have to really mess with anything. And um, these are the only things that are like plugged up. So you can leave it laying down on the engine, which is pretty good. It's got these kind of grooves right here on the edge so it won't fall anywhere. Obviously don't put it anywhere to where it can fall but you can pretty much sit this anywhere but if you didn't want to sit it anywhere you can just throw it right there and you're good to go okay we've got this all hooked up um, obviously i'm going to release these so there's less tension holding on them but i got these all clamped down as best as they can this thing actually just turned on so uh, in the beginning it says select battery type, I believe. So yeah, select battery type. So right there on this green button, you see lead acid, lithium ion. You just gotta click one. So I just click the first one, lead acid battery type. Press again for the lithium as you just read. I'm just gonna leave it right there. Most cars run on lead acid, so I'm gonna let it do its thing. Oh. And it, it waited about, I wanna say two minutes for you to select another one. So now it says charging battery and it's like 64%. Good indication right there, green light. So, hey, I would say this is definitely a uh, a game changer in the, in the industry, so. Um, hopefully you guys like this video. Uh, if you know somebody that needs this, send them this video, share this video, tag them if they got a YouTube, tag them, and, or just copy the link and just send it to them, guys. Um, this is definitely an ass saver right here. So whenever the car, customer gets their car back, there's no issues. I've worked on a ton of cars to where some people are like, oh, man, I got my car back in. Something happened to my battery. I'm like, dude, you brought the car in like that. Da, da, da. So this is kind of a, um, a safety blanket, if you will. Or if you got the jump box over there, just go ahead, rock out with that. But it's going to be something big, bulky sitting on your engine, trying to figure out how to stand that up. But um, yeah, this is simple, quick, small, um, probably weighs about two pounds, maybe, if that. Quick, easy hookup, as you can see. Um, but yeah, I like it. You can um, even use this for motorcycles as well too. So if you're, if you're working on motorcycles, go ahead. I actually plan on getting a motorcycle here soon, maybe end of this year or next year, but hey, now I got one of these to go on it. So like again, 
Uh, subscribe to our channel. We're going to be posting more videos about stuff we're getting in, stuff we're doing. Obviously, detailing window tint and wrap videos will be coming out there. Um, buffing, polishing, ceramic coating videos will be coming out there. So, um, yeah, we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.